What is good, everybody? Today we are back with brand new WWE action figure news, man. Coming at you as we approach San Diego Comic Con, we knew that the news would be hot off the truck, man, and it is coming along and along, man. It is every single day, man. You guys know how it works over here. We're always getting brand new action figure news, and today is no different as we have a brand new Ultimate Edition. We got some new Monday Night Wars Elites. We have a new three pack. We got a lot of shish to cover, man. So let's go ahead. Let's shut the hell up. Let's dive into it and let's get things started, man. Let's start things off with the three pack. We have a Roman Reigns. Reigns legacy pack, I guess you could say, or just a Samoan dynasty style deal going on right here, man. As you will see, we have a three pack featuring the tribal chief, Roman Reigns, and then the wild Samoans. This is not something, you know, they're not completely new to the line. We've seen these two before, you know, we got them in a Hall of Fame pack, you know, back in the day, which was a pretty sweet set. I remember finding that thing at Dirt Cheap multiple times over after finding it initially at Target. They were Target exclusive there, but these look pretty good, and you guys will notice that you're getting two different eras of the wild Samoans here. You're getting the old man or the older men head sculpts with their Hawaiian shirts and their waist wraps. And then you're also getting a throwback version of them. Now, a lot of people were saying, oh, those torsos aren't big enough. The formula is not big, whatever the case is. But they were saying that since it is a two in one, you didn't want to have the super overweight or not the super overweight, but you know, the heavier weight versions of these guys with their older head sculpts on there. So they went with the, they went with the smaller torsos and the smaller bodies to fit in here with these guys. And I know the images aren't the best of all time. I'm trying my best here. We only had one image and you know we had to make the most of it but we do feature a few different new things that we're going to talk about here. Like I said you do get Hawaiian shirts. You get brand new head sculpts of both Samoans and we get a new attire here. I don't think this is something that everybody wanted here but I'm interested to see how this one does. I know for a fact in my area the Maya Via th Legacy Pack, the three pack, is a very big shelf warmer. It, I don't think, I, I swear to God I'm like the only one that's bought one. It, there's like seven or eight on every shelf that I go to so I don't know what's up with that. I love this set. It's just I I don't know if it's really moving the needle, you know? I know that they said that something about, you know, The Rock Show or whatever the hell that show was called with The Rock and everything like that, that it was a hot show, but it doesn't seem so. It doesn't seem like that was the case here, but we do have a pretty cool pack here. I love all the cloth goods, and then you'll notice on Roman Reigns, it is a brand new Roman Reigns head sculpt. It is a wet hair head sculpt, which we've never seen with Roman Reigns before, unless you're talking about the slick back look, but you can see the hair comes off to the left side of his head there, and this is a brand new head sculpt, but I don't think it has the faded tapered beard band. This still doesn't look accurate to me in terms of the faded tapered beard. I mean, this is a very terrible angle, you know? I mean, the low quality head, the low quality photo, not even a good angle. It's straight on, so I can't even see the side of the beard here. But from where I can see from here, it doesn't look correct. It doesn't look correct, but I could be corrected. I could be wrong 1,000%. I could be absolutely wrong, but I'm just going based off what I can see here. It's going to be your standard Roman Reigns Elite. It does have the, the newly sculpted gauntlets repainted in gold. You'll notice that he does have the gold gauntlet hand with the sculpted on padding on there, which is only something we've seen in the red colorway. So getting it in gold right there is pretty cool. But I don't know, this isn't shattering the earth, but it is a cool pack. I'm interested to see what the packaging looks like. And I do believe this will also be Walmart exclusive, I think. Don't quote me on that. I don't remember seeing what it was, but this is a cool pack. I still like the pack and everything. It's just, I don't know about the Roman Reigns. I really wish that they could get that beard right, but I'm not holding my breath on it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it does have it, but I'm starting to slowly give up hope, man. It's kind of sad, but this is a pretty cool pack to see yesterday when we got to break it down. Next up, man, we have a brand new Monday Night Wars Ultimate Edition Triple H here, and you guys know that the Monday Night Wars line is exclusive to Walmart, so this is going to be a Walmart exclusive. Now, this is very cool, I think. They nailed this in terms of the torso. Look at this new torso on this Triple H figure. This is actually a gear that I've wanted for a long time out of Triple H from Mattel, so that is a nice, you know, addition to our collections, but this torso on this Triple H is chef's kiss, man. They finally got rid of that ugly Ultimate Wars Warrior, terrible looking torso that they like to put on all these people. Batista, Ultimate Warrior, Goldberg, Bobby Lashley, John Cena, Triple H. They used to give it to everybody and even Kurt Angle. I mean, they, they've used that torso quite a bit, but this is a brand new torso and it reminds me a lot of the Elite 110 Austin Theory. It's not the exact same, but it has that same build to it. And I think they captured that perfectly. This looks a lot more realistic. I'm loving the attire. I like the addition of the jogging pants. You're getting the shirt, which I guarantee is not going to be any Velcro, which is great. And this is awesome, man. When I think of him wearing this gear, I think of him in that ponytail head sculpt, and this we're getting. It looks like we're getting two brand new ponytail head sculpts, which is amazing. The, this is a great figure. I'm excited for this one. I was very excited to see this getting that late '90s Triple H in there, right at the the dawn of 2000, maybe. And this is great. I, I'm hyped as hell for this. This is a great addition, and you know, it's not the you know the most exciting, I guess, overall. But I love the new additions of the parts. I like the shirt. I like the jogging pants. I like this. This fits right into an era, and I love it because growing up on TV, 
to watching TV, I used to see Triple H in the same getup all the time. So now, you know, as a kid, I didn't really get to see a lot of these backstage attire. So now getting this in this modern form is really nice. So I like this a lot as a big Triple H guy. Love this Triple H. This is just chef's kiss for me. I love this. This is great. Can't wait to see who the opposite end of the Monday Night Wars Ultimate Edition line is going to be. I'm guessing it's going to be a WCW superstar. So we'll have to see who that ends up being. But we are getting into the newest Monday Night Wars Elite set right here, man. And I got to be real. I'm not really feeling it. I remember talking about how the first set of the Monday Night Wars set was going to be really hard to beat. And I still think it may be undefeated. I'd have to think about it really long and hard. But I think this is going to be Series 5 of the Monday Night Wars. I haven't even seen Series 2 in store. So, I mean, I, I don't know what the hell's going on. I can't find a single... Outside of Series 1, haven't seen a single damn one. But nonetheless, man, let's get into it here. Starting out first, we do have Razor. Now, Razor is a straight-up repaint. We've seen him multiple times over. He is in his yellow gear. And we'll get into the Build-A-Figure that's going to be a part of this set as well. But this is a repaint. I mean, this is a repaint of the three-pack Razor. We've seen this multiple times over. Not the most exciting figure ever. You know, I know that it is another Razor. People love Razor, and, you know, we want more Razors and everything like that. But, you know, we... I don't know. This just doesn't move the needle for me that much. While his figures are very solid, they're toyetic and all those things, I just... I don't know. This just doesn't... This wouldn't be on my number one. You know what I mean? This wouldn't be high on my list for this line in particular, at least for me. But you can let me know what you think of there. But it is basically just a repaint of a Razor in yellow. It looks good. I like all the yellow colors and everything. I like the vest. You get this bigger torso with an NWO shirt. We'll get into that in just a moment. But it is a, it's another Razor. It's another Razor, and you can let me know where you stand. But that is the first figure in the set. Next up, we have Lita. Now, this one... This one's weird for me. Like, I know that everybody's going to love having another Lita. I'm glad we're getting another Lita. It does look like she... I can't tell off rip, but it does look like... We may be getting a new leg mold right here. It looks to be the same Lita crotch torso pieces here, but she is going to have double jointed arms. We're getting a new Lita head sculpt here, which is nice, but I, I feel like it It just looks like a bare bones Lita. To me, it doesn't look like a... I, I don't know. I just don't really relate this to a Team Extreme Lita, at least. I don't, I don't know there. I, if this is in the Monday Night Wars line, you would have to imagine it would have to be a early run Lita, so I don't know. It does come with a women's championship there, which is cool and everything, but I don't I just feel like this is a very baseline Lita. I do like the head sculpt, which is good, and I'm a big Lita fan, but I don't know. This just felt like a... I don't know, and it's just so bare bones. There's like no cloth goods in here. There's a lot of things missing and everything, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. You can let me know. I am hyped to have another Lita. I think that she would be great for an Ultimate Edition line or something, but this is another Lita, and you'll see that we have these dry brushed pants, Build-A-Figure legs, that, which again, we'll get into in just a moment, but who, who are you thinking in your head who's going to be this Build-A-Figure here? But that is Lita. I did not expect to see her in this line. That actually kind of caught me by surprise, but let's move on to the next figure in the set, which is going to be another six figure, man. How many damn six figures can we get? And I love X-Pac. I loved X-Pac as a kid growing up, and we do have a new head sculpt going here, but where's the damn X-Pac figures, man? I want to see an X-Pac in the green and white. I want to see the white base with the green and black accents DX gear, but yeah, who the, who the hell am I, Brad? Who the hell am I? We do have a new head sculpt here, which I feel like his face looks a bit long and skinny. I do like the likeness to it, though. The likeness is there. I just feel like the hair to face ratio looks a little bit off. I know that's a weird thing to say, and like just looks like I'm grasping at straws or something, man, but look at it from certain angles. It just looks a little bit weird, and it's very plain Jane. You got the black, gold, and red. Very very similar to a couple six figures we got, man. I mean, we just got the SummerSlam Elite. We had the Flashback Elite that wasn't too long ago. I mean, I guess that was a few years ago now, but we have seen six enough, I think. I think we need to get more into X-Pac. And I know we have our share of X-Pacs, okay, but I think that we're missing some gears from X-Pac, which I'd like to see. But this one just isn't moving the needle that much for me, man. And I grew up a massive X-Pac fan. I loved X-Pac. So this is, uh, this is one of my guys, but I just, I'm just not feeling the figure that much. It's just not for me personally but you can let me know what you think down there. But the last figure in this Monday Night War set is going to be the Ultimate Warrior. And if you're looking at this and you're like, damn, that looks familiar. Haven't we seen this before? You would be correct. You would be correct. This is the Mattel Creations Failed Crowdfunder WCW Nitro Stage Ultimate Edition Ultimate Warrior in WWE Elite form. Now, originally, I'm pretty sure they wanted 10,000 backers to be able to include this Ultimate Warrior with our Nitro Stage. And obviously, that did not come to fruition. We only got like 30% of that. So very sad day. Very, very sad. We were losers. We were losers. We were very, very big losers. But this Ultimate Warrior, it looks pretty good. As an elite figure, I like this, and it's crazy because this is now the second figure that they have shoved in to the Monday Night Wars Elite line that was a failed Ultimate. If you remember from Series 2, I think it was, Rey Mysterio in the pink was a Ultimate Edition that was going to be included in that Nitro stage 
crowdfunding project. He did not make it, obviously, because the whole entire thing failed, which I lose sleep over every single night. And they plugged him into an elite wave, and now Ultimate Warrior's turn. So I'm guessing Big Papa Pump would probably be soon to follow. The DDP has no right being included in an elite line, and the Hulk Hogan doesn't need to be included in an elite line either. But I guess we'll have to see what comes of it. But this figure is pretty cool. I like the weird one-off things. You get the entrance jacket. I really like this belt buckle and things. It's a pretty cool figure. I think this is pretty badass, not gonna lie. I like the entrance robe and the entrance cape or trench coat, jacket, whatever you want to say. It's pretty badass, I'll have to say. It's pretty badass. Not a warrior guy, but that's a pretty sweet looking figure if you ask me, man. You'll have to get into it down in the comment section. But that is our Monday Night Wars Elite set. Now let's get into the Build-A-Figure, man. We only got to see two Build-A-Figure pieces, and I know at Comic-Con next week, we'll either get new images today as you're seeing this video. I'm sure they'll drop some damn images on me out of nowhere before I am able to put the video, or like right after I put the video up. But it, everybody is saying that it's going to be an NWO Dusty Rhodes figure. And I think that they would be correct there. I think they'd be correct there. I think it would be cool if they included a jean jacket with the figure too. Since the torso is in this, I would guess that he's going to come with a denim jacket. I think that it's going to be Dusty Rhodes heel turn. And he's going to come with a denim jacket with a brand new head sculpt. And that's just what I would guess if I was trying to fantasy book this thing. If I was trying to put everything into it and give my all and try to figure out what the hell this thing was going to be, that's what I would guess it would be. You know what I mean? I, th I think that's probably what it's going to be, which is a very unique piece there. Definitely something that I wouldn't personally think about to include in this line, but they are doing some different things here. So we will have to see what comes of it, but I'd like to think with the torso being a sculpted on shirt that it would, it would surely be... It would surely be a cloth goods denim jacket that would come with this, and hopefully it all looks good and everything, but we won't know until Comic-Con probably, but I look forward to Comic-Con. We're slowly approaching it. It is going to hit us right in the face before we know it, so it should be fun, man, but I think that is going to do it for all of the news that we have here today, man. I'd like to know what you think of all of this down in the comment section. What do you think of this Monday Night Wars Elite Wave? I think it's kind of bleh. I think it's kind of bleh overall, at least to me personally. You can let me know what you think there. Again, we'll have to wait and see, but I don't know. I just think that this wave as a whole is kind of stale. I do like some of the things but not a lot of it just blowing me away. And sometimes that's how it is with, you know, everything. But I think my favorite thing out of all these reveals was the Ultimate Edition Triple H. And I know that's like, what, our third Ultimate Edition Triple H. And I still love it. I still think that we should get a return Triple H in, from 2002. We need to get a return Triple H in the Ultimate Edition line. That would be a fantastic, either Legends exclusive or, hell, Ringside exclusive. Something. They, they could do some cool stuff there. But, yeah, I'm, I'm hyped for that. But I, I don't know. Pretty cool. Pretty cool to get this stuff out of nowhere as we approach Comic-Con, man. But that is pretty Pretty much going to wrap the news. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate you, fellas. Thank you guys so very much for your support, as always. But today, we did have this news, and I wanted to find out what you guys think. So please let me know what you think of everything down below. What do you think of the Builder figure? What do you think of the new three-pack? Plenty of stuff to be revealed at Comic-Con as well. I'm sure we'll get over 100-plus figures revealed to us. But I'm getting the hell out, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.